Capture 3. Microbial Life in Aquatic Environments Aquatic Communities Aquatic microenvironment is made up of microbes, which include bacteria, archaea, algae, protozoa, fungi, and viruses. Microorganisms dominate the abundance, diversity, and metabolic activity of the ocean. Many of these microbes influence the ocean's ability to sustain life, play important role in Earth's biogeochemical cycles. There are two types of aquatic environments. Freshwater, marine or salt water. Learning objectives. 1. Discuss microbial life in aquatic environments. 2. Understand the properties of the aquatic ecosystem and how it affects the microbial diversity. 3. Describe the importance of the aquatic microorganisms in the ecosystem. Freshwater microbial habitats. Two types of freshwater environments. Lentic environments. Contain still water. Lakes, wetlands. Low-tech environments. Contains flowing water. Rivers, streams. Microorganisms in aquatic environment. Planktons. Aggregation of floating and drifting microbes on the surface of the water. Composed of cyanobacteria, phytoplankton, algae, diatoms, and zooplanktons, protozoa. Benthic microorganisms inhabit the bottom region of the body of water. Oxygenic phototrophs, which obtain their energy from light, and use water as an electron donor to reduce carbon dioxide to organic matter, are the main primary producers in freshwater aquatic ecosystems. Oxygenic phototrophs include the algae and cyanobacteria. Zonation based on depth and distance. Littoral zone adjoins the shore, home to rooted aquatic plants, phytoplankton. Extends to the light compensation level. Limnetic zone open water beyond the littoral zone. Down the light compensation level. Composed of planktons, nectons, and newsstands. Derives oxygen from phytoplankton. Euphontic zone. Upper surface of limnetic zone from the open water contacting the surface oxygen to the region where the sunlight could penetrate. Profundal zone. The bottom and deep water area. Beyond the depth of effective light penetration. Lacks oxygen, low fish population. Benthic zone. Lowest level of a body of water. Includes sediment surface. Harbors bacteria, mostly decomposers. Zonation based on light penetration. Photic zone. Region that receives more than 1% of the solar irradiance. Allows photosynthetic producers of the lake to grow. Aphotic zone. Region where the solar irradiance is below 1%. Does not support the growth of phytoplankton. Zonation based on temperature, thermal stratification. In summer, water column in lakes becomes stratified. Separated into layers with different physical and chemical characteristics that constitute a stratified water column. EP Lim 9 Warmer and less dense surface layers. Thermocline is the transition zone from epilimnine to hypolimnine. Prevents mixing of water throughout the year. Mixing only occurs during fall and spring as the water either cool or warms respectively and the thermocline disappears. Hypolimnine Colder and denser bottom layers and aerobic conditions prevail. Biochemical oxygen demand 
stream systems, both produces and consumes oxygen. The microbial oxygen consuming capacity of a body of water is called its biochemical oxygen demand, BOD. BOD determination gives a measure of the amount of organic material in the water that can be oxidized by the microbes present in the water. Higher BOD indicates more oxygen is required. Less oxygen is available for higher organisms and signifies low water quality aquatic organisms suffocate and die. Harmful algal blooms or HABs commonly known as the red tide. Eutrophication is overabundance of nutrients, nitrogen, phosphorus. Fertilizers run off into nearby water can cause harmful algal blooms or red tide, resulting to anoxic events and fish kills. Colonies of algae feed on the nutrients and grow out of control while producing toxic or harmful effects on people, fish, shellfish, marine mammals, and birds. Diatom. Pseudonitsia spp in shellfish produce tomoic acid and cause short-term memory loss, vomiting, cramps. Dinoflagellate. Carinia spp in shellfish produce brevitoxin can cause nausea, diarrhea, eye irritation, respiratory distress, death. Cyanobacteria in water produce microcystins, are potent liver toxins, and possible human carcinogen. Freshwater prokaryotic diversity Bacteria Proteobacteria Actinobacteria Bacteroids Cyanobacteria and Varica microbia Archaea Euryarchaeota Crenarchaeota and Thomarchaeota. Actinobacteria, are chemoorganotrophic bacteria, contain genes related to those that encode bacterial rhodopsin, a membrane integrated protein that converts light energy into ATP in extremely halophilic archaea. The actinobacterial analog is called actinorhodopsin, hence, some actinobacteria may be able to harvest light as an energy source. Marine environment. With the exception of oxygen, nutrient levels in the open ocean, the pelagic zone, are often very low compared with many freshwater environments. This is especially true of key inorganic nutrients for phototrophic organisms such as nitrogen, phosphorus, and iron. In addition, water temperatures in the oceans are cooler and more constant seasonally than those of most freshwater lakes. The activity of marine phototrophs is limited by these factors and thus total microbial cell numbers are typically about tenfold lower in the oceans than in freshwater environments. Most microbes in marine waters have very small cells, a typical characteristic of organisms living in nutrient poor environments. Smallness is an adaptive feature for nutrient limited microorganisms in that it requires less energy for cellular maintenance. The trade-off is that a greater number of transport enzymes relative to cell volume are needed for organisms to acquire nutrients from very dilute oligotrophic than from nutrient rich eutrophic aquatic environments. Marine bacterial and archaeal diversity bacteria, alpha and gamma proteobacteria, cyanobacteria, bacteroids, beta proteobacteria, actinobacteria, and firmicutes, archaea, euryarchaeota, crinarchaeota, and thomarchaeota, most of which have not yet been brought into laboratory culture. Major Marine Phototrophs much of the primary productivity in the open oceans, even at significant depths, comes from photosynthesis by prochlorophytes. Prochlorophytes contain chlorophylls A and B, but do not contain phycobulins. 
The organism Prochlorococcus is a particularly important primary producer in the marine environment. Prochlorococcus lacks phycobilins, the accessory pigments of the cyanobacteria. Dense suspensions of Prochlorococcus cells are olive green, as are green algae, rather than the blue-green color of cyanobacteria. Aerobic and oxygenic phototrophs and oxygenic phototrophs present in coastal and pelagic marine waters are obligate aerobes requires oxygen to grow that capture energy from light by an oxygenic photosynthesis. An oxygenic photosynthesis is the phototrophic process where light energy is captured and converted to ATP without the production of oxygen. Like purple and oxygenic phototrophs, these organisms contain bacterial chlorophyll A. However, unlike classical purple bacteria that carry out photosynthesis only under anoxic conditions, these anoxygenic phototrophs carry out photosynthetic light reactions only under oxic conditions. Aerobic and oxygenic phototrophs include bacteria such as Erythrobacter, Roseobacter, and Citrimicrobium, all genera of alpha proteobacteria. Trichotismium Planktonic, filamentous, marine cyanobacterium. Cells of trichotismium form puffs, colonies, of filaments. Each puff can contain many hundreds of individual filaments, each filament composed of 20 to 200 cells. Trichotismium is a nitrogen-fixing cyanobacterium, and the production of fixed nitrogen by this organism is thought to be an important link in the marine nitrogen cycle. Trichotismium contains phycobilins, light-harvesting pigments found in cyanobacteria. Pelagobacter, the most abundant bacterium. Pelagobacter is an oligotroph, an organism that grows best at very low concentrations of nutrients. Cells are small rods with a diameter of only 0.2 to 0.5 micrometer. The resulting high surface to volume ratio facilitates nutrient transport, increasing substrate concentration and processing rates within the cell. High abundance of periplasmic substrate binding proteins for soluble nutrients such as phosphate, amino acids, and sugars. Genome also contains genes encoding a form of the visual pigment rhodopsin that can convert light energy into ATP. Bacterial rhodopsin, a light activated protein complex present in the extreme halophile halobacterium archaea. Bacterial rhodopsin functions in ATP synthesis as a simple light driven proton pump. The form of rhodopsin in Pelagobacter and other pelagic bacteria is structurally similar to bacterial rhodopsin and has been called proteorhodopsin. Proteo referring to proteobacteria. The different variants of proteorhodopsins in marine microbes have absorption properties that reflect changing spectral properties of light at increasing depths in the water column with near-surface variants absorbing green light and those at greater depths absorbing blue light. Marine viruses In the oceans, viruses are more abundant than cellular microorganisms. Most of these viruses are bacteriophages which infect species of bacteria and archaeoviruses which infect species of archaea. Only a small fraction of released viruses, an average of one per burst, successfully infects a new host, and most are inactivated or destroyed by sunlight and hydrolytic enzymes. Ecosystem functions along with feeding by protists, marine virus infections probably help to maintain prokaryotic cells at the levels that are observed. Facilitating genetic exchange between prokaryotic cells and allowing for lysogeny, the state in which a virus genome integrates within the cellular genome. Lysogeny can confer new genetic properties on the cell. 
the deep sea. Light penetrates no farther than about 300 meters in pelagic waters. This illuminated region is called the Photic Zone. Beneath the Photic Zone, down to a depth of about 1,000 meters, there is still considerable biological activity. Water at depths greater than 1,000 meters is, by comparison, much less biologically active and is known as the deep sea. Greater than 75% of all ocean water is deep sea water, lying primarily at depths between 1,000 and 6,000 meters. Organisms that inhabit the deep sea face three major environmental extremes. Low temperature, high pressure, low nutrient levels. In addition, deep sea waters are completely dark such that photosynthesis is impossible. Thus, microbes that inhabit the deep sea must be chemotrophic and able to grow under high pressure and oligotrophic conditions in the cold. Bacteria, isolated from marine waters below 100 meters, are psychrophilic, cold-loving, or at least psychrotolerant. Deep sea microbes must also be able to withstand the enormous hydrostatic pressures associated with great depths. Piezotolerant. Organisms which tolerate high hydrostatic pressure but do not grow optimally under such pressure. Piezopiles. Grow best under elevated hydrostatic pressure. Piezotolerant isolates typically do not grow at pressures greater than about 500 atm. Molecular effects of high pressure. High pressure affects cellular physiology and biochemistry in many ways. Protein synthesis, DNA synthesis, and nutrient transport are sensitive to high pressure. Piezophilic bacteria grown under high pressure have a higher proportion of unsaturated fatty acids in their cytoplasmic membranes than when grown at 1 atm. Unsaturated fatty acids allow membranes to remain functional and keep from gelling at high pressures or at low temperatures. Combined effects of pressure and low temperature slows down the reaction rates of enzymes directly affecting cell growth. Gram-negative piezophile is grown under high pressure, a specific outer membrane protein called OMPH. Outer membrane protein H is present that is absent from cells grown at 1 atm. OMPH is a type of porin. Porins are proteins that form channels through which molecules diffuse into the periplasm. Deep sea sediments. Archaeal and bacterial populations at depths greater than 2,000 meters. Depletion of electron acceptors and organic matter with increasing depth constrains energy available to the deep subsurface microbial communities accounting for the major decrease in cell numbers with depth. Deep core samples have clearly established that novel archaea make up a large fraction of the archaeal diversity and that bacterial diversity in both deep and shallow marine sediments is dominated by proteobacteria. Sulfate reduction is the major form of anaerobic respiration in marine sediment. Employ many of the strategies similar with marine pelagic microbes, including small cell size and small, compact genomes. Hydrothermal vents. Hydrothermal vents are underwater hot springs that are located at depths from less than 1,000 meters to greater than 4,000 meters in regions of the seafloor where volcanic magma and hot rock have caused the floor to rift apart at crustal spreading centers. Hot vents, called black smokers, form upright sulfide edifices, called chimneys, that can be less than 1 meter to over 30 meters in height. Walls of smoker chimneys are teeming with hyperthermophiles, such as Methanopyrus, a species of archaea that oxidizes hydrogen and makes methane. The most thermophilic of all known sulfur-reducing microbes, species of Pyrolobus, 
and pyrodictium were isolated from black smoker chimney walls. Methanogens of the genus Methanus arsena and are nourished by the hydrogen-rich fluids that permeate the porous chimney walls.